What a beauty of a day. Just been surfing all morning. I'm gonna spend the afternoon screwing down those panels. If you are new here, I'm building a compost toilet and outdoor shower area right next to our bus. Over the past year, we've been building a small off-grid setup in a rural beach town in New Zealand. I guess everyone has their own interpretation of what paradise is, but for me, this is it. When I built this, I was careful to make sure everything was straight and true and plumb. And when you put the ply on, just because it's exactly square, I realized that the building wasn't perfectly square. It's probably drifted with the wind and me walking around on the roof. So I just put a ratchet strap on here and I've tied the top of the building to this post over here and just pulled it. And I'm just pulling the building into square so it will line up perfectly. For the past year, we've been using the Nature's Head compost toilet, which we have in our bus. This is a great option for small spaces, but since it's fairly small, you do need to empty it quite regularly. And so by building this, I'll make a larger composting toilet, which should be easier to manage. Showers are a more pressing situation. For the past year, we've been hopping over the neighbor's fence and using their outdoor shower. This has been a lifesaver and we are so grateful to them. Having good neighbors and good community around you is really important when you're trying to live like this. And we are incredibly fortunate in that regard. Having a shower right outside our bus is gonna be a total luxury and I can't wait to have this finished.
This is probably the project that I've enjoyed the most, mainly because I just can't wait to see the end result and start using it. I'm sure the wider community will be pleased with our more frequent ablutions too. I picked this door up at the local dump. It's, um, I'm guessing, 40s, 50s. I don't know. You probably know better than me. There's a lot of kind of charm to it. It's solid wood. I like these little panels in it. It looks cool. This, the sort of fixtures, that's just awesome. Whatever that says, Victoria toilet fixture. There's something just so charming about that. And also like the uh, door handle on it, which I'm, it's a kind of an art deco style. I mean, you buy stuff at the dump here and I forget what it was. It was like, but, but such a small amount of money that it's insignificant, you know, just a few dollars. Um, the wood alone to make this would would cost quite a bit. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, what I'm going to do is strip the paint off it uh, and see how that goes. If it comes off easily-ish, then uh, then I'll, I'll probably leave it as just a plain wood door because I think it would look really nice and then I'll just oil it or varnish it or whatever. If I can't get the, pla the paint off and it's a real pig to remove, I'll probably end up painting it just because that, that will be the easier option. This paint looks like it's going to come off easy, but I'm sure there'll be some coats underneath that, uh, that don't. So first of all, I'm just going to give it a quick scrape off and see, see what comes off and what doesn't. That's the easy bits done with this. Now I'm just going to crack out the heat gun and uh, see if I can get some more of this stuff off. I like the idea of getting back to the bare wood, but it's just a question of time. It would really take a lot of work and this door's gonna be outside, so it's not really worth the hassle. So yeah, quick sand and then I'll paint it. flaking bits of paint and then I've sanded all of it just to give it a kind of a rough finish which will help the new paint adhere to the, the door. So um, I'm going to give it a coat of paint. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next week.